What was that? Huh? Let's play Lost Communication. Hello and welcome to a whole new play short in your game today. I'm going to play a game by Nudie. It's their first game, so we will be very nice. I will I mean I'm generally nice, you know, but I will be I will take that into account. Um, because I always like it can be so scary and difficult to to do the first game and also nudie you know first game but already impeccable presentation on itch um, because I think it is super important for any indie developer to have like a nice looking page to say something about the game itself about the story um, they even have the game runtime which is chef's kiss I love it uh, they have cool engaging screenshots everything looks Gorgeous. There's even a teaser trailer. So Nudy did everything exceptionally. Um, and now we're going to play the game. But first, um, what is it about? <laughs> a short atmospheric horror game where you are researching life deep in the oceans of a moon. <gasps> when you lose communication with another research base, you make your way over to find out what happened. Yes, we will. And we are excited. Oh, wow. You can interact with the world by pressing E on certain objects. This is... Yes, I like this. This already is so cool. You are an underwater researcher that has been looking into the deep waters of the moon. A few months and however you lost communication with the other research base, you go out with a scuba suit equipped and trek your way to the other side to see if everything is okay. Press continue to play. Thank you for letting me read at my own speed. That wasn't supposed to rhyme, but it did anyways. All right, so this is our base. Press E to interact. The generator. Super outdated tech down here. Can't wait for an upgrade. Oh, okay, so E also means um, not skip the com conversation, but uh, move the conversation forward. All right. A bunch of old scrap tech from previous expeditions into the abyss. We really need to use these again. I love the designs a lot. One day, maybe. Oh. And as usual, the radio seems to be busted. Oh. <laughs> At least I'm going back up to the surface in a few days. I wouldn't be able to survive without some sort of normality down here. What's that? Nothing but the deep, dark ocean. Oh, it's a window. That's creepy. Why would you have that on your research base? I already have my scuba suit equipped. Time to head out. Is there anything else I can discover? Like the trash bags? No. And this? No. Alright, let's go. I already like this. Holy oh cool. So I have time to be like, no, oh wait, I wanna I wanna look at something. Oh, this is very much um Soma. Also the noises. I'm already creeped out. <laughs> Oh. Well, howdy, I'm a boy, here to assist marine researchers as they search the depths. I'm assuming you're on your way to figure out what's happening with the other base? Oh boy, does it seem a little fishy? Pun was not intended. Anyways, to get to the other base, all you have to do is beeline straight for it. Just go straight ahead. Safe travels now. <laughs> Yes, this is so... It's like the little Clippy from Word. What happened to Clippy? Where are they now? I want an article on that. They probably have like... <laughs> they probably... Work in finance now. Holy shit. Holy shit, I'm scared. What? What just happened? <gasps> Hi. Would you look at that? My mate Bob must have sent you coming down this way. <laughs> The marine life on this moon seems to be a little bit similar to Earth's. Looking into my bioscanners, I can detect that it seems to have a mind of its own. Just like you fellow humans. Ain't that wonderful. Anyways, I don't want to keep ya. Off you go now. I didn't know this was scary outside. Uh, where's the next one? Where is it? So I can't run. Oh, there it is. Okay. <sighs> 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 
This is good. I like this. Hey, hey, hey! I remember you for where well, you first dropped off on this moon a few months back. How has life been inside that base? Must be sweet, huh? I do wish that we had a super duper basis of our own instead of being thrown out here. Would do us some good. Getting it. I mean, I can. I, I get it. It's probably really isolating and lonely. Okay. Where's the next one? Where? Is, oh, there it is. Yeah, it has certain Soma vibes. But in a good way. Like, this is more like a loving reference and not a copycat version. Oh, I would be so scared. Like, uh, just this really alien, strange environment. Oh, hey, where's the... Where's the bot? Uh, oh, I can't jump. Oop. Did you hide here? Oh, hey. I, uh... You need to go through the cavern to get to the other side. Oop. <laughs> yes, yes. Go th through. Man, are you scared? Well, I don't want to... Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> what was that? Huh? I did not even see it. You probably did. There was something green there. Damn. Hi. Well, well, well. You finally made it to little old me. The base is not too far now. Just keep on going and everything will be... A okay. I just want to ask, where's all the life down in this part of the ocean? I mean, you could say that the corals and everything are life as well. It's not just, you know, mammals and fish. It's all gone. Anyways, not long now. <laughs> I like them. They're really they're, it's it's a great way to have those little intervals and it's it, it brings levity, but also a little bit of backstory and a little bit of tension as well with the one that was a little bit scared. Uh. Oh, where's the base? Oh, there it is. Oh, oh shit. <gasps> Wait. Oh, <gasps> you're turning towards me. What are you? You have eyes! Oh my god, I didn't notice that before. Okay, so there's the base. How... Oh, there. That's an eye. Oh! I'm not scared! No, no, no! I'm a... I'm a brave astronaut. Is it astronaut? Yes, it's astronaut, even though I'm deep down. Still on the moon, hula. Come on, get with it. Oof! Great sound design. Love the environments. Love the interactions with the little clippies. Just really cool. I gotta see what's going on at the base before taking my suit off. Okay, yeah, well, that's a really good idea. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> yes. Yeah. That was fantastic! First game, amazing! Amazing! Very smooth gameplay. I always knew what to do, where to go next, which is, that is something that especially new developers um, sometimes get, get, or that can be difficult for them because they try too much um, at the first game, which is something I totally understand it because gamers can be... S Gamers can be assholes. They can be big old assholes that are always like, I wanted, it was too short, it was just walking simulator, I, you know, the puzzles were too easy, whatever. And then developers feel very much pressured into doing something amazingly complex. Um, but actually, I think a simple idea executed well, I'm sorry, all the regular viewers have heard this a thousand times before, but it really works, you know, and this game really shows it. 
If this is the first game, holy shit. Holy shit. This was my first full game, so it may be buggy or lagging in some areas. No, it wasn't. There was no bug. It, it ran perfectly. It was so smooth. It was just absolutely fantastic. A little bit of humor, but in the right ways. It was still due to the sounds and, and the weird you know, fauna or whatever it was, like following me with the eyes and the big eye and then the monster and the short time we saw the monster, you know what I liked about that? It wasn't a jump scare. It was one of those, you could have missed it, but you saw something was happening, you know, in the corner of your eye, but it wasn't like a jump scare that was like with a big noise or whatever. So it would be like, Ugh. it was really subtle. And this restraint is also, it's very seldom for first timers. <laughs> But it is so appreciated. Like, this is fantastic, Nudie. I will totally follow you. And I hope you continue on trying, you know, things out. Um, I mean, I don't know if you are a developer who wants to focus on horror games. Uh, because I know I follow quite a few developers who now and then pop up with a horror game. And who have in between a lot of different other games. Um, but yeah, if you're doing more horror games, man, I, I really hope so. Because you have a knack for it. This was a really pretty sweet story. I enjoyed this a lot. So you go. <laughs> also to the viewers, how did you like it? Um, how did you like the little, the little clippies? Do you still know what a clippy is? That's the question. I think my... I think the people that comment <laughs> on my videos, I think they are closer to my age. Not all of them, but I think uh, a few. But in general, is Clippy still a thing with, with the young ones <laughs> or not? And also, I think, you know what? It's such a cool idea to have like Clippies for 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 expeditions. This is hilarious. Oh, I'm, look, I'm, I'm seeing you on your way to the base. Can I help you somehow? Yeah, just really gorgeous. I hope you liked it as well. You know, if you have any thoughts or if I missed something, um, tell me in the comments. Because I think I could have noticed more and I didn't because I just, I think I kind of raced through this um, because I didn't know where it would lead me. But yeah, um, beautiful. Also, if you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. And I promise you, if... If I'm a big old sea monster, you know, and I did something to that other base and I see you there, I will at least give you the chance to run away, you know, because, well, to amuse myself, I guess. That sounds like I'm, I'm a really horrible, cruel person, but it's more that I want to give you the chance to just get out of there because you, you, you know, you made your way through. It was probably really scary. Just do your thing. But maybe uh you know maybe not bother with my planet because i think that was the main issue that the monster had you know so maybe i would tell you that rather i would tell you hey come on you have your bases all over the place this is my garden you know you destroyed like the strawberry patch and now you're here thinking i will not be angry so i will talk to you because communication can go a long way not always but sometimes so subscribe <laughs> Anyways, I hope you had a good time. I hope you have a wonderful day. And maybe see you next time. Bye. <laughs> this is my self-recorded outro song so I don't get hit with copyright claims. If you subscribe, you subscribe to a lot of fun tutorials, reviews, and let's plays.